Hey, tell Jeff if he don't get my money by Friday, he's gonna, he's gonna feel it. Hi. Right? Good. Take a break. You work yourself too hard, Johnny. Who's you? How'd you get in here? Oh, racing, yeah, huh? You look like a nice kid. What brings you here? Ray's trying to pay off his debts to us. Ha! <laughs> that sucker can't pay nothing. I've been waiting ten months. Ten months for his payments. That's why I sent you? Alright, I'll hear you out. For now. So you got some money on you, huh? You do? Alright, alright. Hand it over. Hand it over. <clears throat> You're pulling my leg, huh? You, you pull... What the hell is this? The money, yeah, I, I know it's money. It's just, this is coins. This is. When's the last time you see someone buy a car with coins? Or a house? Or a business? This This is pathetic. How, how, how much is even in here? $13. That better be a joke. That better be a joke. $13. Ray owes me $100,000. And you're telling me $13 is in here? What, what am I gonna do with $13? Go buy McDonald's. Go down. Go down to the pawn shop, right down the corner. Man, Ray has got some balls. I'll tell you if he thinks he can get away with this. I suppose I could accept the money, but this, tell Ray. You tell him, this ain't gonna slide next time, huh? This ain't gonna slide. Alright. Now, what do I do with you? Hmm? Well, Ray's gonna use you as a goon. You got skills? Let me tell you, kid, charisma isn't a skill in this business. This business is all about smarts. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just a dapper mob boss, of course, right now. But, you know... If you're looking for a little extra change, all you gotta do is mess up the shirt a little, take off the hat, and say, please, sir, please, all I need is a dollar, a dollar, that's all I need, sir. You go back into the streets like that, looking all dirty, those suckers don't know the difference. <laughs> Well, kid, you ever held a gun before? Yeah, this one's pretty nice. Even has a little laser. You know what, kid? Today's your lucky.
<laughs> you think I'm stupid enough to give some kid my gun? Nah. Nah, man. <laughs> you. You're a funny kid. No. This is my prize gun. The bumblebee. Yeah. This thing really packs a punch. On you. You can't forget the scope for it. Of course. laser hey don't get all up and rowdy it's a loaded you scared of a loaded gun huh you're booking for ray and you're scared of a loaded gun shut up be a man be a man really god there's this nice little laser and the scope makes aiming so easy no if you're a rapper in the market for a gun kid, I'll tell you a couple guys that can really make a gun. No, kid. Maybe you ain't so bad after all. Alright, come on. Come on, sit down. Sit down. You know, don't be a stranger now. Yeah, this... Right. This money... Between me and Ray. Got nothing to do with you, alright, kid? And, you know, Ray, he ain't paying the well. Not with not with this kind of pity cash, alright? Now, if you work for me, you know, a little Ponzi scheme here and there, robbing a couple banks on the down low, some simple tasks, and you make quite a large paycheck to bring home to the wife and kids. Yeah, well, well, come, you know, we can discuss terms later. Come, come sit down. Yeah, you know, as I am the leader of a mob family, we really like to take the family part to account. And you would die for family, alright? You would die. A family. Of course. As would I. And as... We got Big Dopey. Lil Polly. Hey, Dopey. Hey, go get this man a coffee. Go get this man a coffee. He's, he's professional. Yeah, give me one too. Um, two scoops of sugar. I'm trying to watch my diet. So, kid, you want to learn how to become a mob boss like me, huh? Become a big dog. Because right now, you're in the small leagues. I mean, working for Ray. Can't get much higher than the small leagues. What kid today's your lucky day, isn't it? Let me... Let me just tell you about some of the schemes we like to run here, all right? Yeah, you ain't part of the feds, right? You're not the feds pulling some sick joke, are you? Because let me tell you, no fed has entered here and left here without being a corpse first. Good. Yeah. Well, kid. One of the schemes we like to pull all the time. So easy. Quick cash. Alright. First, you get an old lady who owes debt. Alright, lots of debt. The casinos to, to, you know, Gamblers Anonymous. Hey, anybody she owes money to. Alright. Who needs needs a lot of money? Who who's deep deep gang, gambling addiction, right? All right, and then you take that old lady, and you know you bring her to this diner you own, this company you own. You know, it's you know legitimate for the most part, and 
on the, on the door. She she slipped and and hit her knee. She slipped on the on the, on a spill of water customer left, right? Something like that. She slipped, she breaks her knee. Now she's getting the insurance money and you're getting insurance money. Both of you both of you are getting getting money here. And she's not gonna sue you because she just got money. So she's gonna go take that money, go back to gambling with it. And you're left you're left positive. Making making plenty of money. Yeah. Oh, if we get if we get brought to court it's it's game over for him. Yeah, yeah, good lawyer, stall it out a couple of years. You know, oh, something came up in the family. Have to take care of business. Eventually, when it does happen, you know, the judge get paid a little money and we forget about the whole problem. You see, when I have the suit on and the hat on, you know, I get it. It's easy to forget. I'm just a guy. But, you know, I'm just a poor, poor, poor little man. I, I didn't mean to break the, break the grandma's knee on the ice. That's how you get them, kid. Messy is for the weak. So you take advantage of that weakness. And then maybe someday hey, you can become almost as amazing as me, the mob boss. Yeah. Well, kid. Why don't you, um... Think about, you know, getting out of the the little leagues, all right? You know, petty theft, robbing trucks, house robberies, that stuff. That's surface level. And you're getting sent out there. You're the goon with a prison sentence on the line if you go out there, right? But you come work for me. And Palermo will forget all about you. Yeah. So, kid, think about it. And while you're leaving, why don't you take Ray's little coin collection here? And, uh, Tell him to go put it away in the piggy bank. The little fifth grader. Yeah. Yep. Well, kid, it's a pleasure meeting you. And I hope you'll make the right decision, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, kid. I'm not gonna shoot you. Nah, not now. Well, still a nice mean you have, kid. Yeah, butter there, butter there, yeah. <sighs> yeah, let me, let me know what you decide on. Oh, and if you even think about telling everybody the location of our little place here, your wife is gonna die along with your kids. And you're gonna be forced to live the rest of your life without them. Yeah, well. Have a good day. Hey, Johnny, get back over here. Yeah, show, show this lovely kid on the way out. And, and throw away his coffee cup, please. 
See you later, kid. Hey. You better stop talking crap about my mother. <laughs>